Hey guys, Rage Vipers here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can run Ubuntu Linux in Windows. So, to run Ubuntu Linux in Windows, we're going to be using a virtual machine. Now, the virtual machine we're going to be using is called VirtualBox. So, this link will be in the description. To download it, you want to come to this link and you want to click the download button. And then on this page, you want to click Windows Host because we want the installer for Windows. So once you click that, it will start downloading the Windows installer for VirtualBox. Now, whilst that's doing that, we also want to download the version of Ubuntu that we want to use. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be using Ubuntu 16.4.2. So this link will also be in the description. If you come here and you want to also download it, you can click the download button here. And then on the next page, if you want to download it and also contribute, to the development of the operating system you can pay with paypal now or if you don't want to pay or you can't pay you can just click not now take me to the download button here then once you click that it should start downloading if it doesn't you can just click the download now here so i have already got both of these downloaded so i will just cancel these and i will now show you how you can install virtual box so to install VirtualBox, you just want to run the installer and then click run when this comes up. Then you want to follow through the wizard. I want all of these, so I'll just click next. And then yes, that is fine. Then I'll click install and I'll start letting it install. So basically what the virtual machine does is it creates sort of a, another computer with inside yours. So it acts like it's a totally different computer, even though it is running with inside yours. I don't know if I've explained that well, but anyway, we're going to launch VirtualBox now by clicking the Finish button here. Now, once this comes up, to install Ubuntu Linux on it, you want to click the New button here. Then you want to name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it Ubuntu. Cat type. And then you want to change the type to Linux if it isn't already. And then choose the correct Ubuntu version. So I'm using Ubuntu 64-bit. So the version there is fine, and then you want to click Next. Then you want to tell it the amount of RAM that you want to give it. So I have 16 gigabytes of RAM on this computer, so I'm just going to give the virtual machine 8 gigabytes. Now, it will recommend a certain amount, usually at least a gigabyte. You can choose how much you want to give it, but the less you give it, the probably the slower it will run, but you don't need to give it tons either, so 8 is good enough for me. You need to find... A good point for you if you've got a lot of RAM you can give it more just use your common sense so once you've selected that you want to just click next and then we will create a virtual hard disk now so we're going to cl click create and then we'll leave it on that so we'll click next and we'll let it dynamically allocate that's fine so we'll click next and then how big do we want it to be I will change it to 20 gig gigabytes will be enough that's how much storage does this virtual machine have so you can change it again to whatever you want. Obviously, the operating system does need a certain amount, but 20 gigabytes is enough, so I'm going to leave it at that, and I'm going to click Create. So now, once we've done that, we would then want to double-click on this, and it should open up a window like this. So this is where you actually select your Ubuntu ISO that you downloaded. So you want to click that, and then you want to go where to wherever it is downloaded. So I'm going to go to my downloads, and as you can see, it is there. That's the Ubuntu version that we downloaded, so I'm going to double-click on that, and then I'm going to click Start. So now the virtual machine will start actually opening up the ISO, like it would if it was on a USB. So it should go full screen in a minute. I'm not 100% sure if it will or not, because it's not properly installed, but there you go. It's starting to load up Ubuntu. Now, once you get to this screen, you can either choose if you want to just try it, so run Ubuntu, and it will actually install, or you can actually install it within the virtual machine. So we're going to install it within the virtual machine by clicking Install Ubuntu. Then I'm going to tell it it can download the updates and it can install the third-party software, which I would probably recommend. It does make things easier, and then I'm going to click Continue. And then I am fine with it erasing anything on the 20 gigabyte disk that we gave it anyway. That is fine. Just be, just make sure that you don't have anything on, on it that it's going to delete. It, it should be fine. This isn't going to wipe your whole hard drive. It will just make sure that that section that you allocated it 
is clear, you should be fine. So I'm just going to leave it on that and click install now. And then it's just warning that the following partitions are going to be formatted. So that is fine. Continue. There we go. And then where are you? So you can choose your time zone. I'm in this time zone. So I'm going to click continue. And then you can choose your keyboard input, which is English UK for me. So I'm going to leave it at that. Continue. And then you want to put in whatever you want your name to be. I'm just going to put minus PC and it can stay as that. And then I'm going to type a password and then I'm going to retype the password. Now, this is a password that will be used for your account on this operating system. So you do want to remember it. Now, you can either tell it to log you in automatically or require my password. I'm just going to leave it on login automatically should be easier and I'm just going to click continue. Now at the minute it is just going to install all the files that it needs and properly install the operating system within the virtual machine. Right so once it's finished installing this will appear and you just want to click restart now. Then once you click restart and this appears you then want to just press enter and then once it reboots, you have now installed Ubuntu within a virtual machine or Windows. So you can use Ubuntu in whatever way you want. So I will just close this. And then we can just open up the Firefox browser just to prove that it does work. There you go, it's connected and we will just do a test. There you go. And as you can see, it's working like it should. So that's how you install Ubuntu Linux within Windows. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, don't forget to hit the like button. If you disliked it, hit the dislike button. Subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you another time. Bye.